kinesiology taping for a long adductor strain. So there's quite a wide number of muscles that actually adduct the hip. Some of those are pectineus, gracilis, adductor brevis, longus, magnus and minimus, and the obturator externus. And you can see from this picture that although they all originate on the hip, they have spread out along the length of that femur, and even in the case of gracilis crossing the knee, that they create a lot of lot of space for strain. So the question I always ask where there's many, many muscles that do an action is, which one is causing the problem? This is where talking to your client is really important. Getting them to show you the pain, what makes it worse, what makes it better, whereabouts within that adductor line it is, and also ensuring that you test it fully. Once you have identified which adductor is the problem, where your client's feeling pain or weakness, we can then move on to treatment planning. Some of the symptoms could be local pain, swelling, weakness on the inside of the leg, anywhere along that adductor line. Difficulty performing side to side movements or perhaps difficulty or pain on stretch into abduction. Again, we need to understand the client, the activities, where it happened, when it happened, what makes it worse, what makes it better, what footwear they use. Um, do they do a lot of kicking, twisting, jumping, side to side movements? Looking at their posture, their hip stability, even their gait can help give us clues as to what might be going on. So we're going to take a look at a taping for a long adductor strain and this is where the client is feeling pain in adductor magnus in that kind of lower third of the attachment on the femur. Firstly, let's look at the acute and early subacute phase. We're going to do a two-step taping to inhibit the long adductors. We're also going to desensitize the tissue where the client is feeling pain, tenderness, and if there is any swelling or bruising, you might also want to add a drainage type taping. Depending on where it is in the leg, you might want to drain towards the inguinal ligaments or the popliteal behind the knee. So it really depends on where the client's feeling the pain and where the strain is. So in inhibition, we're going to tape away from the midline of the body. So we're going to anchor this tape below the knee on the inside of the leg. Now we're going to peel back the active part of the tape we're going to add a light amount of stretch and place the tissue on a little bit of stretch. So supporting your client, bringing them into a little abduction. Then I'm going to lay that tape down with a light stretch, rubbing it well to stick, taking the tissue off stretch, and then simply asking my client to anchor the tape right up onto the inside of the hip, rubbing well to stick. Now getting my client to show me where they feel pain. So as you can see, it's on that adductor magnus, maybe towards gracilis direction. We're going to peel back the middle of the tape, light amount of stretch, tissue on stretch, and place down directly over the area of pain. And simply anchor with no tension on the tape and no stretch on the tissue. Next, the subacute and remodeling phase. Here we want to activate the long adductors. You might combine with other tapings depending on what's going on. For example, some abductor weakness, you might add some abductor activation. Or if there's some pelvic rotational work you're working on, you might also add some tapings to support that. So an activation, we're going to anchor towards the midline of the body. So I'm going to ask my client to place this anchor on the inside of their leg so that they can get it quite high up onto the hip. So she's anchoring that inside the hip and rubbing it well to stick. Now, let's peel back the active part of the tape. It's a light amount of stretch on the tape and also a stretch on the tissue, so bringing that leg into abduction. Rub the tape down well to stick and then simply anchor with no tension on the tape and no stretch on the tissue, rubbing well to stick. <laughs> 